Hi, welcome to this tutorial on finding the distance between two points on a line. Now suppose we took two points, say A and B, and if we take each one of these squares, the sides of a square is one unit, then I've got A at 4, 5, 4 across, 5 up, and similarly B is at minus 2, minus 3, 2 that way, 3 down. So how do I find out this distance AB? Well, to do it, what we do is we use Pythagoras' theorem. We think of a right angle triangle drawn something like this. The right angle being at this corner here. Let's label this C. So what did Pythagoras say? Well, according to his theorem, this side, the hypotenuse, the side opposite the right angle, that side, the hypotenuse squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So in other words, we've got BC squared plus AC squared. Now how do I get the lengths BC and AC? Well, it's very easy when I've got a diagram like this drawn. You could just simply count squares. You'll see you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six units this way. And for this one, AC, it's just going to be one, two, three, four, five, and three down here, eight. But suppose we hadn't got this diagram drawn. How can we work it out then? Well, what we can do is that this distance BC is given by the difference between the x coordinates, in this case 4 minus the minus 2 here, 4 minus minus 2. 4 minus minus 2 is 6 and it works for AC because we do the difference between the y coordinates, the 5 and the minus 3, because 5 minus minus 3 gives us 5 plus 3 which is 8. So when it comes to working this out, the length BC is going to be then 4 minus minus 2. That's the difference in the x-coordinates. By Pythagoras' theorem, we have to square it, though. And for AC, we do the difference between the y-coordinates, 5 minus minus 3. And we square that. So what we have here is that we have 6 squared, which is 36, and 8 squared, which is 64. If we add these two together, we get 100. And then to get AB, all we need to do is do the square root of 100, which is clearly 10. And we're dealing with a length. And it's not measured in centimetres, in this case, or metres. It's just units. So I like to put units on the end if I'm finding a length. You don't have to put that. Quite often you'll find that's not quoted in answers in textbooks, but I just like to put that in. Now I'm often asked, does it matter which way round you subtract your x-coordinates and your y-coordinates? Will you get the same answer? Well, let's try. Instead of doing 4 minus minus 2, suppose we did minus 2 minus 4. What would that give us? It gives us minus 6. OK, you can't have a length that's minus 6, but by Pythagoras' theorem, you're going to end up squaring it anyway. And minus 6 squared still gives you 36. And the same applies to the difference in the y-coordinates. If instead of doing 5 minus minus 3, you did minus 3 minus 5, you'd get minus 8. But when it comes to squaring minus 8, you're going to get 64 anyway. So it doesn't matter which way round you subtract your coordinates. As long as you do the difference in the x coordinate squared plus the difference in the y coordinate squared. OK, well, that's given us a numerical example. What about an algebraic, a general result? Well, if we had our axes, let's just mark them on, our x axis and our y axis and we had any line, okay, 
two points on the line. Let's say this point is A and it's got coordinates x1, y1 and another point here B and it has coordinates say x2, y2. Then by using Pythagoras' theorem, we don't really need to draw this triangle in but at least it helps in the thinking process. Then to get AB, AB squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides. So in other words, the difference in the x-coordinates, x1 minus x2, or x2 minus x1, doesn't matter because we're going to square it, plus the difference in the y-coordinates. And again, I'm just going to say y1 minus y2 squared. But you could say y2 minus y1. doesn't make any difference. That's AB squared. When it comes to finding AB, we need to square root both sides. And the square root of this is just going to be AB. And for the square root of this side, well, just mark in the square root sign. And it's that formula that I would encourage you to learn and understand. Understand that it's coming from Pythagoras' theorem. OK, well, I'm going to do a numerical example for you now, OK, or you might like to try it. OK, so here we've got our question. If P has coordinates minus 3, 5 and Q has coordinates 4, 1, we've got to find the distance PQ. So we know that to find PQ, all we need to do is the square root of the difference between the x-coordinate squared plus the difference between the y-coordinate squared. So I'm going to take minus 3, put it in brackets, minus 3, and then subtract the 4. And then we square that, plus the difference in the y-coordinates, so we're going to do 5 minus that 1. And then we square that. So what have we got now? Well, minus 3 minus 4 gives me minus 7, but when squared it's going to be 49. 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 squared is 16, so we just need to square root that. And 49 plus 16 is 65, so we end up with root 65. And that doesn't square root exactly, so I'm just going to leave it as root 65 units. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then how you can find the distance in general between any two points by using this formula. OK, well, that brings us now to the end of this tutorial. And thanks for listening.